It's Friday, which means it is time for the Roadie Roundup, and we have an amazing panel this morning. We have with us Samantha Bowen, marketer, publicist. We have Ian Brownhill, today, podcaster, content creator, comedian, personality. <laughs> you do it all. Nice. And we have Kayla Mandeville, amazing photographer, influencer. <laughs> we do. We have a power pack over here today. I love this. Okay, so Samantha, I'm going to kick it off with you. Mm -hmm. So this past week was National Middle Child Day. So my son Benjamin is like poster child for being a middle child. So where do you fall in the order of your family? I'm actually an only child. So I'm the oldest, I'm the youngest, you're the, youngest, you're the smartest. The smartest, so, okay, so <laughs> this, is, this is what I printed out. Okay, so the only child, and tell me if this is very aligned with who you are. So only the only children, they receive more attention from their parents. Mm -hmm. um, they don't have any personal conflict at home. I, I mean, that, I, I guess, in some, in some ways, like you'd probably fight with your parents or something. Well, it says you're very mature, very creative, mm -hmm. very intelligent, and you had an easier time transitioning into adulthood. Oh, for sure. Did you feel like that was yeah, very aligned? It was okay. very easy to, except for like going to college and getting like roommates and stuff. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I, I didn't enjoy that. All right, Ian, where do you fall? I am the youngest of three boys. Oh, the youngest? Yeah, so How did I'm a I professional not know that about instigator. you? Okay, so then tell me this. The youngest child may look for ways to stand out from their older siblings, and they create their <laughs> own unique position in the family, <laughs> and they may try to get attention in different ways than their siblings. They're maybe more sociable than their siblings, more extroverted, and more fun-loving in order to be around. <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> Is that a check, check, check? I feel like that check, check, check right there. <laughs> That's, I didn't realize I became a TikToker, so I, I guess so. Now I like to see where like what you do. That's very like I feel yeah, like aligned. You're yeah. very social. I, wow. Okay. Yeah, my oldest brother, he's um, a sound engineer, music producer. So he's got like his own thing. And then my middle brother is like an extreme sports guy, golfer, surfing, hunting, fishing. So not all at that all stuff. what you do. Not you know, all three of us are very different. different people. And I'm just like, look at me. And look at me. Jazz hands. Here it is, my Victoria. <laughs> all right, Kayla, where do you fall? I'm the oldest. You're the oldest. I, I didn't. So I didn't ask anybody ahead of time, too. I purposely didn't. So okay, so the, the the oldest. Are you ready? So you are traditionally, obviously, the most responsible of all the siblings. Oh, yeah. Okay. Self-reliant. Have a serious attitude about life. You behave very well in situations where there's adults. Yeah. Um, you abide by all rules yes. normally. Um, a perfectionist, and that you uphold <laughs> family traditions and morals more than your siblings. Oh yeah. So check, check. Yeah, so check, you feel like yeah. this is all We're very... the boxes. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. I'm always so fascinated about birth order and like where you fall and see, I guess it is very much aligned. I love this. All right. So, you know, I'm going to kick this off with you now. All right. So Brendan is obsessed with Metallica. Yes. Like travels around the country to go watch them. Oh, yes. Is there anybody like either musician, actor, actress that you would quite literally go around even the world to go see? Uh, yeah. Ed Sheeran. Really? Yeah, Ed Sheeran is my Metallica. No way. I also saw Metallica a couple weeks ago, which was did awesome. You see, oh, you did see Metallica yeah. at Gillette. Yeah, really I cool. saw that. But yeah, no, Ed Sheeran's my guy. I'd follow him to the ends of the earth. And why is that? You just love him? I just love his music. I love his creativity. Um, he seems like a, you know, obviously it's just the persona that I see online, but yeah. like it seems like he's a very like warm-hearted, welcoming, free-loving, like very down-to-earth person. Yeah. And his music for me personally is just something that I resonate with and it speaks volumes to me, speaks you know? volumes to you. I love that. Yeah, sometimes Can't I wish I had red hair. You know? <laughs> we could do that. We could dye it. We could do a segment on that. <laughs> what um, about you, Kayla? Anybody that you would travel around the world for? No. Not right now, okay. I would say. I feel like a lot of the music I listen to, like, it's a little bit older, so, like, a lot of people are no longer alive or <laughs> touring. But there was a time when... That tough. Yeah, that's a little tough. But uh, um, there was a time when Celine Dion was, like, traveling, like, locally and touring locally. Oh, yeah. So I saw her, like, every night she was here locally. Oh, no and way. I went to see her in Vegas. Uh, so cool. maybe... Oh, so yeah, like, so, yeah. yeah, so not right now, but uh, there was a time. So it'd be Celine. <laughs> yeah, it'd All be right. Celine. There was a so time. So anybody that you would go around um, the world Actually, for? recently... Recently, I just traveled to Montreal for a music festival with one of my girlfriends. It was so much fun. And I saw um, Hosier for the first time oh, live. Yeah. Nice. Amazing live. Like, it was 
he, like you get taken to church. Like it was no so. Way. <laughs> <laughs> And so um, there's a music festival at the end of September in Nashville. So my girlfriends and I, who some of them that lived there, were considering going just to go see Hosier again. So they okay. were really good. So we just did Newport, who didn't we? I, I don't. Yeah. Newport, just like, do Newport, right? Yeah. Wait, he was at. I, yeah. yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I was like, how do I not know that? He went to church with all these people. I could have driven 45 minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Yeah, okay, she's 45 like, oh. minutes, you're not considering the bridge traffic. <laughs> okay, so I could have driven. I yeah. went 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got to add it in. All right, so let's end on this. Rhode Island, what's one thing this summer that you haven't experienced that you still need to do? Kayla? Um, one thing I've never experienced in Rhode Island, I've never been to Prudence Island, so I want to do that. All right, and we yeah. can do that. Nice little ferry. Samantha, yeah. what about you? I feel like I've done everything in Rhode Island, but this summer specifically, I haven't had a Dells yet. Every time I used to go to the, <laughs> look at Ian. I used to go to the Dells on India one. Point Street, you know where Gano yeah. Street is, but now the bridge, like so. I just need to find now a closer. Yeah, it makes Say sense. No more. I'm, I'm, I'm with Say that. Yeah, so I need to go find a, a nice, um, delectable Dells. All right, Ian. What about you? Probably the beach. I haven't really spent. Stop I haven't it. really gone to the beach. I grew up in Westerly, so I went okay. to the beach yes. a lot growing yes. up. But now I don't. I haven't really gone to the beach much. Right. I also don't really like to go out much because the bridge. And, right. It's just a whole thing. You know thing. what I mean? I love so, it. Yeah. So we're gonna get a Dells. So we're gonna go to the beach. We have to go to Prudence Island. Yeah. Yep. We could all make that happen <laughs> in the next three or four weeks, right? Yeah. yeah. I think so. At the same time. At the same time. We could actually do that. Yeah. As long as it's not raining. Yeah. Right. Well, it's, uh, welcome to Rhode Island. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much. Yeah. And we will have our full roadie roundup online later. And chime in to let us know what your answers would be, too.